Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to today's phonics session with me, Miss Butler. Now today is the second phonics session of this week, so we're going to start off by reviewing some of the words that we learnt on Tuesday. So we'll have a little reminder, a quick read of those words, and then we will have a go at looking at a brand new sound. Are you ready? Let's begin. Did you manage to read all of the words with the ow digraph in them? They are cow, how, down, town, howl, towel, frown, clown, trowel and growl. Well done. Okay, so today we have a new digraph and it's the letter O and the letter I. And when they come together, they make the sound OI. Can you say that with me? OI. And again, OI. Well done. So let's get our wiggly fingers ready and we're going to write the letter O and I in the air. So we're going to start on the line and we're going to start off with the letter O. So we're going to go up to the top, all the way back around and flick. And then the next letter is the letter I. Now on your screen, it's just written as a stick with a dot on the top. But if we want to write the letter I properly with our cursive handwriting, we'll start on the line. So we'll go up, down, hook and dot. So the O and the I come together to make one sound and the sound is oi. Let's have a look at the first word together. S oi ul. S oi ul. Soil. Soil. I saw a worm in the soil. Okay, so now it's your turn. And I'd like you to read each of these words. And after each one, we'll come together and we'll sound it out. Have a go and then we'll do it together. Okay, do you think you've got it? Let's sound it out together. Oi, o. Oh. Foil, foil, and if you've ever used foil before, it's that silvery um, material that you have in your kitchen that you normally wrap around dishes to keep them hot or to cover them. Foil. And the next word's got the oi digraph in the middle. Well done, let's sound it out together. B Oi, ul. B, oi, ul. Boil. Boil. Can you see when the water starts to boil? And you can tell when it gets really hot because it starts to bubble on the top. And the next word. Great, that was nice and quick. Let's put our sound buttons on. K, oi, n, k, oi, n, k, oi, n, coin. I found a coin on the floor. And the next word. Well done. Now I know from teaching this that a lot of people get the letter J mixed up with the letter I. Can you see that the letter J goes to the left? 
okay? And the letter J makes a J sound. So we've got J, OI, N, J, OI, N, J, OI, N, JOIN. Can you join in with my game? Which means, can you come along to my game? Okay, a bit of a longer word now. Great, let's sound it out together. Sp oi oo. Sp oil. Spoil. Please do not spoil my work. If someone tried to ruin it, they might spoil it. You might use that word, spoil. In the next word, I can see another j at the start of this one. Great, let's sound it out together. J oi nt joint 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 this is my joint in my elbow okay your joint and the next word it's not a very it's not a word that we use very often actually Great, let's sound it out together. Oi, st, hoist, hoist. What does it mean, hoist? Uh, it means to lift something which is very heavy, something's a heavy weight. You'd have to hoist it up. And the final word today is this word. Well done. Let's sound it out together. M oist. Moist. Moist. My clothes are moist, which means they're damp. They're getting wet. Brilliant. And a quick game. How many of these oi words can you read before the time runs out? Just like on Tuesday, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'll pause the video, see how many you can read. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's read them together. We've got soil, oink, boil, foil, coin, join, spoil, joint, hoist, and moist. Great reading. And finally, we're going to read some sentences that contain words with the oi digraph in them. Some of these sentences have a full stop. Some of these sentences are asking something so they have a question mark and some of them have an exclamation mark. I'm saying them loudly with expression. Okay so this one's got a full stop so it's a statement. Two oi words in there, have a go and then we'll read it together. Okay. I can see a coin coin coin. I can see a coin in the deep soil 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 full stop. Let's read it through together. I can see a coin in the deep soil. Fabulous reading. 
Ooh, I can see two exclamation marks. So when you practice reading this, say it with expression. Okay, let's have a little go together. Oh no. Say that with me. Oh no. I forgot to boil. 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 I forgot to boil the food. Exclamation mark. So that might, you might say that if you were in the kitchen, you were making something and you wanted to heat it up and you might have forgotten. So let's read it together. Oh no, I forgot to boil the food. Great. Oh, and what's this one here? It's a question. It's got a question mark. So you might want to read it and then answer it. Okay, let's have a go at reading this question together. Lots of those common words in here that you've been practicing. Have you ever had foil? foil? Have you ever had foil in your house? Have you ever had foil in your house? I have, I use it quite often when I'm cooking. I wonder if you have too. And that's the end of today's phonics session. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to spend tomorrow having a go at reading the words that we've looked at today and also having a go at writing them too. It would be really brilliant if you could write your own sentences with those words in and send them across to me. Lots of you have been doing that and it's always brilliant to see the sentences that you create. Have a lovely rest of the day, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.